Okay guys, let's make a real quick video on our rear end ride height. And it's gonna be a quick video simply because this isn't a change I ever make to our chassis. I haven't tested this change very much. It's been a long time since I've made a rear end ride height change to my go-kart. So I really just can't give you too much advice on when you would or wouldn't wanna make this change. But the theory is, is if you raise your rear end ride height, it's gonna make it a little easier to lift weight off the rear end side wheel. And if you lower your ride height, it's gonna make it a little more difficult to raise weight off that rear inside wheel. So with that in mind, the only time I could really ever see myself wanting to make this change is say, for example, we're in a, a rain race, and for whatever reason, a lot of the other changes that we've tried, haven't we just haven't been able to get our cart to not try to spin around on us. I may go ahead and lift that uh, rear end ride height up a little bit just to, to help get weight off that rear end side tire. It's, I've, I've never been in that situation, but that's really the only time I could see myself making this change. But if we did want to make the change, what we have is we have four bolts. We have two bolts on this side and two bolts on this side that hold this cassette to our chassis. And what we can do, I'll pull this screw out here real quick. And if you do make this adjustment, you would want to make it to both sides of your cart. You would not want to adjust the height uh, up or down on just one side of your cart and not the other. So if you make it on one side, you definitely want to make it on the other side as well. But what you can notice here is there's actually three slots and you can see the wear on the paint there from us using the middle slot. And to be honest with you, I don't even know if I've put a screw through any of these other holes. But if we were in a situation and we wanted to raise our ride height, what we would do is we would pull out all, all four bolts and we would let this cassette fall all the way down in our chassis and then we would put a bolt down here in this bottom hole to raise our ride height. So just opposite, if you want to raise your ride height, you'd put a bolt in the bottom hole. And on the opposite side, say we wanted to lower our ride height, we would take out our, all four bolts and then we would put a, the bolt in this top hole right there in order to lower our ride height. Real simple change if you wanted to make it and your chassis may be different. It may be something that, uh, that you find if you, you do test this out that uh, depending on what track conditions you have, it might be a change that your chassis really likes. It's just not something that I've ever, I've ever played with too much. It's been a long time since we've made a rear end ride height adjustment, even in practice for testing. We always just run our middle ride height and call it good. So if it is something that you want to change and you want to, you want to test and play with, definitely make sure you log your results so you've got something to refer back to so you understand how it does affect your go-kart. And once you've got that data, you can make your, your decision based on uh, whatever track conditions you have. It may be a change that you find out that you like. But for us, we, we ride the middle ride height and call it good. So if you do make the change, log your results, have a good time at the track.